All right, welcome to uh, scheduling 2014 at Scrum High School. I want to start by giving a shout out to my Dan. What's up, my Dan? Peace. Just joking there. Um, we are in beginning the scheduling process already, believe it or not. I, I can't believe how quickly this year has gone, and we're already scheduling for next year. Um, I want to talk about a few points today in regards to general scheduling, and then uh, Mr. Hirsch put together a video or um, a PowerPoint for each of the grade levels for specific information from you following this, so pay close attention to that, and thank you, Mr. Hirsch. And thank you, Mr. Harker, for doing the schedule or doing the video back there behind the camera right now, uh, Martin Scorsese we call him. Okay, first thing I want you to know <clears throat> is our schedule is a student-driven schedule. What that means is we take your requests from the students and that's what we build our master schedule with and we take it very seriously. So if enough kids sign up for four sections of cooking, we're going to offer four sections of cooking, for example, next year. What that means is since we take your scheduling very seriously, those are the classes that we build and those are the teachers that we put in places based upon what your requests are. So you need to be very serious and diligent about what you are scheduling for. Uh, I encourage you, I strongly encourage you, especially my Dan, to use your graduation, gra graduation credit checklist to build your schedule. If there are classes that you need to take, uh, those are the classes that you sign up for as you build your schedule. So be very diligent about checking your graduation status and then selecting those classes. I also encourage you to be very careful about choosing alternates. Your alternates are classes that we will put you in if your other classes are full, if your electives are full, for example, or if we're not going to offer a class that you possibly sign up for. Um, the alternates that we put you in will be put in by order that you select them. So when you're selecting them online, there will be six, six spots for you to put alternates in. Put them in the order that you choose to have them because that's how we will build your schedule for you. Um, the last thing I'll say about scheduling in general is uh, it's a pretty uh, strict process in the sense that what you sign up for now, that's the classes that we'll put you in next year. And so you're thinking, hey, I'm sitting next to my friend who's signing up for ceramics, and all of a sudden, come August of next year, I decide I don't want ceramics. The truth is, you'll be in ceramics. That's how we build our schedule based upon what you put. So make sure you're very careful and uh, do some homework about what you want to select for next year. We will have... I think it's three, uh, four for the freshmen, separate den days where we'll be building your schedule and ultimately be entering them online in your English class, so we're giving you lots of time, then that's on purpose for you to make sure you're selecting the right classes for next year. That's it. Uh, happy scheduling, and go Wolves.